Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the Gaming Decorator. Today is June 5th, which means today is the Pokemon Direct that has been highly anticipated for about a week or so. Well, if y'all got your coffee ready, it's going to be a good Direct. Alright, so this video will hopefully be like a whole lot of light editing. I'm waiting for it live right now. Um, it's been highly anticipated for what's going to come out with this Direct. Obviously, a lot of it's going to probably be uh, Sword and Shield related. Um, but there's also been a lot going on in the previous week with this past week for the, the press conference where they talked about a whole bunch of other stuff that was going to come out. There's going to be a, a Pokemon Center in Shibuya, uh, Japan, uh, Pokemon Sleep, Pokemon Home, which is the big, the big meme joke for this past week, Pokemon Go Home and Go Sleep, <laughs> um, a mobile phone game for uh, called Pokemon Masters. So... Um, there could be some things that tie in with this, but this will probably be mostly the Sword and Shield. I mean, the, the Pokemon Home, which is basically like Pokemon Bank, but beefed up a little bit. So they could talk about that a little bit. Um, more likely it'll be Sword and Shield related. So what can we actually expect from this Pokemon Direct? In the last one that was in February, um, they introduced us to a good chunk of stuff. The, the new region, uh, the three new starters, and also... Um, a lot of gameplay footage, probably not final, but some some test footage of, you know, the the trainers, the looks, the area, um, certain gyms. People have been breaking down a whole lot for what it looks like, but it it could be anything right now. It could be uh, the the professor, some of the new um, Pokemon you find on routes, maybe the legendary Pokemon, maybe the, the evil team. So it'll be a, very interesting to see what they're going to show in this. There's been a lot of info going around, so hopefully we can figure out what exactly is going to be showcased today. Here we go. Welcome to Pokemon Direct. I'm Ishihara from the Pokemon Company. Today, I would like to provide the latest news about the Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield games. Alright, hit us with it. To begin, please take a look at this video. Okay, some new images that we didn't get from the last direct. Ooh, a new trainer. There's Sobble and Brookie. And Trick's Rabbit. Okay. Ah, the professor. That's what it looks like. Alright. Three new Pokemon right off the bat. If they're in the overworld, like they were for Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee, that'd be great. A giant Gyarados? Is that like a raid boss for Go? <laughs> A giant Raichu? What? That might be the new gimmick for this generation. Uh, each generation has like a gimmick that makes them a little different. Six had Mega Evolution. This one was speculated to have Armored Evolution. So maybe these giant Pokemon are, uh, are the gimmick. There's another new looking Pokemon. It's like five now. Yeah, 
Maybe that's the champion. Hello, I'm Masuda from Game Freak. Hi, I'm Omori from Game Freak. What did you think of the video? It was very interesting. Today, we would like to deliver the latest news on Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield to all of you around the world, right here from Game Freak's offices where development is underway. Alright, what we got? Hit us. You can take on the role of the main character, who resides in the Galar region. Okay. After choosing Grookey, Scorbunny, or Sobble as your first partner Pokemon, you will embark on an adventure to become the champion. Your journey will take you through vast and lush grasslands, towns in which you will find humans and Pokemon working together, and many other locations filled with rich personality. Pokemon battles are the most popular form of entertainment in the Gala region. Ooh, that was one hammer. Stadiums across the Gala region are frequently filled with cheering crowds that have gathered to witness battles between gym leaders and challengers. Okay, so those are stadiums. The excitement of these battles is often broadcast on television in the Gala region as well. Okay. The most exciting part of visiting a new region is, of course, encountering Pokemon that you've never seen before. To tell you more about some of the Pokemon that reside in the Gala region, I'd like to hand it over to James, the art director on these games. Hey, Jamie. Not, not Ken Sigamori. Hello. I'm James Turner from Game Freak. I worked as the art director for these games. Okay. There are a lot of never before seen Pokemon that await you in the Gala region. But allow me How to many? introduce you to just a few of them. Give us the decks. Come on. The first Pokemon I'd like to show you is Wooloo. Wooloo. This Pokemon's defining characteristic is its fluffy fur, which is treasured by weavers in a town in the Gala region who use it to craft popular specialty goods. It's like another Marie. This Pokemon here is Gossifleur, the flowering Pokemon. Gossifleur. Gossifleur favors places with clean air and water, and its pollen is said to have healing properties. Okay. This next Pokemon is called Dreadnor, the bite Pokemon. Dreadnor. The sharp and jagged edges of its jaw allow it to bite off chunks of rock and iron. Its vicious nature makes it a difficult Pokemon to tame for all but the most experienced trainers. This Pokemon that can be seen flying steadily through the sky is called Corviknight. It puts its skills to use when working as a flying taxi, which will take the player back to any town he or she has previously visited. It's like a big ass raven. As many of you already know, some Pokemon can evolve, changing their appearance and becoming stronger in the process. Gossifleur is one of these Pokemon. When Gossifleur evolves, It becomes Eldegoss. Okay. As you can see, there are now small seeds scattered across its fuzzy head. These seeds are said to promote growth in plants and can revitalize both people and Pokemon. It's almost like a big poofy afro, like uh, That's all like I can show you this time. There are lots more Pokemon living in the Gala region for you to discover. Of course, you can look forward to finding many Pokemon you're already familiar with. I hope you're as excited as we are to encounter the amazing variety of Pokemon that inhabit the Gala region. Meeting lots of Pokemon is one of the thrills of the adventure and where you will find the widest variety of Pokemon out of anywhere in the Gala region is in a place called the Wild Area. Okay. This wild area stretches between cities and is filled with abundant nature as far as the eye can see. Different Pokemon can appear depending on where you are and what Snorlax. the weather is like, meaning there will be new discoveries for you each day. Is that a Some wild Steelix? you may already have noticed, but while adventuring through this area, you have control over the camera allowing you to better search for items and Pokemon. Search far and wide in the tall grass, in the skies above, and even in the lakes. 
where you never know what you might find. Okay, that's a new in feature. In certain locations in the Gala region, a new phenomenon can be triggered that makes a Pokemon giant in size and gives it incredible strength. This phenomenon right, is, is called Dynamaxing. Dynamaxing opens up new possibilities in the heated battles performed by trainers and their Pokemon. For more details, I would like to turn it over to Iwao, the planning director for the games. Hi, I'm Iwao from Game Freak and the planning director for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. All right. Let me tell you more about the new Dynamax feature, which will surely bring about all new strategies to Pokemon battles. Pokemon from the Gala region can Dynamax to not only become massive in size, but also boost their power. It really looks like raid battles from Go. All the moves they know turn into powerful max moves. Dynamaxing can be used once per battle. However, like mega the Pokemon will revert to normal after three turns. So, you need to choose wisely when to trigger it. Hmm. Mastering Dynamax will be key to becoming a full-fledged Pokemon trainer in these games. Remember that wild area we told you about? If you connect to other players, you'll find more ways to play there. Connect with other players. One of That's these new multiplayer features is called Max Raid Battles in which Raid four battles. Pokemon trainers <laughs> can join forces to challenge wild Dynamax Pokemon. In Max Raid Battles, the wild Dynamax Pokemon keeps its giant form for the entire battle. Not only that, it also has special powers that make it an extremely formidable opponent. Only one of these four players who have teamed up for the Max Raid Battle will be able to Dynamax their Pokemon in each battle. So coordinating with your team will be crucial when taking on these powerful wild Pokemon. Mm, I don't know how I feel about that. If you and your allies manage to emerge victorious, you will get a chance to capture the Pokemon in a truly dynamic catch sequence. The Pokemon that you can take on in Max Raid battles also vary depending on where you are in the wild area and the state of the weather. Among these different Pokemon are some that can only be caught after you defeat them in Max Raid Battles. So we hope trainers will join forces and test their skills against a variety of Pokemon. <laughs> Max Raid Battles features strategic cooperative four-player gameplay against a single Pokemon, which is a first for the main series of Pokemon games. Yep. It's going to be a ton of fun to use your Nintendo Switch system's local wireless functionality to tackle these battles with friends in person and experience the excitement together. You can also connect with other players over the internet to enjoy playing with other trainers from all around the globe. So I hope you'll try Max Raid battles with all sorts of other players. Not sure how I feel about that. Next, I would like to introduce some of the people you'll encounter on your adventure. Okay. The champion. This guy is the greatest trainer in the Gala region, and also yep. the current champion. His name is Leon. Leon. In a region where Pokemon battles are so widely enjoyed, his undefeated record in official matches is all the more incredible. His popularity is only enhanced by his shining personality, winning him the adoration of trainers across the region. It's no exaggeration to say that he is the most prominent trainer in all of Galar. The champion has a younger brother who also happens to be one of your rivals. Okay. His name is Hop. Hop. Hop dreams to one day become champion just like his elder brother, and he trains vigorously every day towards this goal. His journey through the Galar region begins on the same day as yours. I hope he's more like On blue. your journey, you and Hop will receive a great deal of support from these two characters. Professor Magnolia is the professor of the Galar region and specializes Magnolia. in researching the Dynamax phenomenon. Sonia is her granddaughter and also serves as her assistant. Their abundant wisdom and sound advice will surely come in handy throughout your adventure. Next, I would like to talk about the Pokemon Gyms in the Galar region. 
You yeah, and your rival will need about to the take gym. on the Pokemon gyms throughout the region in order to achieve your goal of becoming champion. These gym stadiums are constructed in very special locations that allow for Pokemon to be Dynamaxed. The gym leaders also have extremely powerful Dynamax Pokemon on their teams, so you will need to counter them with some of your own. Battles between two Dynamax Pokemon are explosive and will cause the energy and excitement in the stadium to reach its peak. Let me introduce one of the gym leaders to you. All right. This is the Here grass type expert, Milo. This gym leader is all about enjoying battles alongside his trustworthy Pokemon, and you will have to overcome his tenacious fighting style to continue your journey. You can't be too tough if Look you could face him with a rookie. Look many more heated battles against gym leaders over the course of your adventure. We've shown off quite a bit today, but I have one more video I would like you to see. Okay. Please take a look. Hit us with it. Legendaries. Mascots. Two Pokemon you saw in the video just now are in fact legendary Pokemon of the Gala region, called the Zacian and, and Zamazenta. Zamazenta and Zacian? Look forward to discovering for yourself just what role Zacian and Zamazenta will play in the story. Hmm. I hope you enjoyed today's Pokemon Direct. Of course, what we revealed today is just a small part of what you will find in Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. There are many more Pokemon and interesting characters for you to discover in the Galar region. We're putting everything we've got here at Game Freak into making Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield a game that everyone around the world will enjoy. Please look forward to it! Thanks to all of our guests from Game Freak. Finally, I would like to announce the release date. Pokemon oh, Sword and Pokemon Shield November will be 15th. available on November 15th, 2019 as a global simultaneous release. Okay. And starting today, you can pre-order a special double pack. Stay tuned for more information. I hope you will look forward to your new Pokemon adventure in the Galar region. Okay. Thank you for watching. All right, so that's pretty good. So we got a lot in that. All right, so that was the Pokemon Direct. That was a lot of information that people were probably expecting. Um, they showed off the box art for for the Sword and Shield uh, Switch cases. I know there are a lot of people that were talking about maybe getting the box art for that as well, so that's cool. Um, we got the legendaries for Sword and Shield. We got the Professor. We got the Champion. Um, we got a couple extra Pokemon. I think like five or seven rather, maybe seven, including the two legendaries. Um, and we got Dynamaxing, which I'm not sure how I feel about that just yet, especially the raid battles. The raid battles definitely seem like Pokemon Go raid battles. So I got a feeling that's kind of where they influenced that, where they got that influence rather. Um... I'm not sure how I feel about that just yet because, I mean, you have to team up with other players over um, over the wireless capabilities and only one person in the team can use Dynamaxing. If you got somebody that just wants to go right in, so I don't, I'm not sure how I feel about that just yet, but there's definitely a lot of cool info about it. Um, I'm excited for it. I'm excited for Short and Shield because it's the first, it's the next generation, it's the newest one, and it's also the first one that's not on the 3DS. Because Sun and Moon and Ultra Sun and Moon 
were the last of the generation for 3DS. So I'm excited to see a lot that they're going to bring to this as well. And hopefully I can get a lot more recording time. Sorry about that. My screen just switched. The video is over. Um, but let me know down in the comments what your favorite starter might be, who you think you might choose. Would you rather have, I can't remember the names now, the sword or the shield for the legendary. They both look pretty cool. I think I might go for the shield, actually. Uh, whatever the, whatever his name was, I can't remember. <laughs> I really can't. Um, I'm sorry recordings have been very sparse lately, guys. Anybody out there watching? Um, I've been having trouble with recording lately, so hopefully this video I can actually record and get up, which would be cool because I would really enjoy having this as like my first Pokemon video on the channel, which would be really cool because I would like to do recordings of my journey through the game as well. So um, let me know down, down in the comments below who would you rather choose for the starters, what do you think of the new ones that they introduced, what do you think about the new gimmick called Dynamaxing? Um, you're going to see more content like this on the channel. Hopefully I can get this out pretty quickly too. Um, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hopefully we can get some more info because I'd love to bring some more video, more uh, info out there about it too. I'm pretty excited about it, the new region, and it looks like you can have the Pokemon in the overworld, like in Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee, which I know some people were a little skeptical on because they didn't see it right away. But it looks like it's coming back, which is cool. So let me know all that down in the comments below, guys. And until then, I can't wait to see you in the next video, which hopefully I'll be able to do more. Take care of yourselves out there.